As you know, I had a lot of difficulty for whatever reason. I couldn't reach your birth father. You know, I wanted to make sure that he had not passed right. and that I thought that you had a sibling. Right. Okay. So where we are right now is your birth father is in fact alive. Okay, good. I have located him. Good. You have two brothers. I have two, two full, brothers. Full blooded brothers. I do. You do. So you're one of four. Right. And here comes the big news. The big news is they're waiting to see you, like now. Where are they? Oh they're in God. New Jersey. They are really, really excited to meet you. Are they? Yeah. Who are they? Yeah. Did they know about me? Well, it was kind of, it was kind of a little tough going. Um, I spoke first to your brother. He didn't know about you. He was shocked and he was upset with his father. Like, how can he not tell me? Because he suspected. I can't believe this. He called his father. His father said, I, I, no, you know, I have nothing to tell you. He said, you know, Dad, I, you know, now's the time. And he said, no. And then the call comes in from your birth father. And he's shocked. And he's an Italian guy from New York. And I'm like, oh, you know, tough guy. You know, what's going on here? And I said, well, I said, do you not know? And he said, I want to hear from you. And he's awesome. He's like, she's family. I want to know her. So I described you to him. He's like, my God, he, she sounds just like Patricia. This handsome guy, the brother? This is my brother. This very is nice Pam. Pam found you. Thank you very much, Pam. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, how's things going? Great. Ready? Very good. First of all, looking at the two of you, it's incredible. <laughs> Thank you. Who would have known? I don't know which one of you is better looking. I oh, know. It would be my sister. <laughs> oh, she's better. the pretty one. No, but you obviously come from some great genes, and it's incredible how much you look alike. And I look at the two of you, and it's like you've never been separated. Yeah, the first time we communicated, I said, I'm your big sister, and you have to love me. And he was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's exactly the way she said happened. it. That's pretty much true. Yeah. That's the way it came about. Yep, exactly. You know? Wow. And I know that you were a little upset that you never knew that you had these two. Oh, absolutely. This family secret was better than the atom bomb. 38 years, my brother, 45. That's how long this secret's been in the family. Think about that. Can you forgive your parents for not telling you? You know, uh, at first it's always a sort of, you know, uh, uh, a shocking revelation where you're sort of, you're thrown for a loop, like, what's this all about? Because you think you know, you know, you think you know everything about your family, and when you don't, you know, in a way you feel cheated that, you know, here we are, it's like jumping into a book mid-chapter. Exactly. You know? Can I ask you something? I, it must be hard in a way, maybe, if she reminds you of your mom who's passed on. It does. Does it hurt a little bit? When I first met Mary, I, we spoke about this, we touched on it, and I said, you know, it's, it's, you know, I lost my mother, you know, and then to see somebody, it's almost like a second chance when you see you know, somebody who's now your sister that resembles your mother in a way, you, you, it's almost like mind-blowing, you know? And, and it feels like inside of me, when I first met with Mary, it's, I felt like this feeling of, wow, you know, almost, you know, I, I can't believe I have a second chance to, you know, try and talk to my mother, you know? I never get to say the wow. things you wanted to say. Wow. Because it, it was sudden, you know, but now you have a second chance, so, yeah. 